G'day folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a Megaminx layer by layer. So what we're going to do is instead of just solving all the edges first and then all the corners which is boring, we're going to solve it, building it up from one layer and you'll see it take shape as we go. Now the first thing we're going to do is start with a face, I always start with a white face and place some edges into the white face position. We want to obviously place them correctly oriented, so I'll turn that up and put that over the purple edge. Now, in terms of the others, I can see the centers, so I know where I have to match them up. So I can turn that, put the yellow piece on, and turn it back. And that'll ensure that they stay where they should stay. And I've got blue, which can just be turned up into position. Here's a white green. Um, we can see that white green has to be placed here, so I can turn that around, put it on and turn it back and that'll just leave the white purple wherever that one is sorry the white red the white purple is already placed um, so it's over here so what I'm going to do firstly is just turn that around put that on and turn it back and you'll see that as we look around all of those white edges are placed I now need to grab the corners and put them into this position so that the white is not there but sort of on one of these and just turn them up to that position with an up up down down and you'll notice that I turned the right face first let's have a look at another one um, again this one is in that position it's got to if I turn the left face first it's going to end up there and so I need to turn the face first that'll get it correctly oriented into that position now here's a white purple yellow so I'll turn that around and I'll bring it up to here and this time I've got to turn left first now I actually only want to do four of these corners because I'm going to use the fifth corner to help me place the next parts. This is white, blue, yellow. Hit that one up. And that's done. You can see that bottom face is almost done. Now I said I wanted to keep the fifth corner here. What I want to do now is use it to place the edges above these corners. And I'm going to do this edge last. So I've got to locate them. There's a purple green up here, so I just find it, bring it down to above where it needs to go, turn the corner that I haven't done underneath it, and place it with that sort of thing. Now I can turn that back if I want, and I'll see that it's done. There's a blue yellow here, where's that got to go? Just turn that around to its position. Okay, grab that corner. Turn it down into position. Remember, I want to do the blue red last. There's a red green. So I can bring that around. And by the way, if you have it here, so it's going to come down wrongly oriented, then you just turn its position up, put it on, return. Now that should leave just one over here, the purple yellow, which is. Where is the purple? Oh, there it is, right above it. Okay, so I grab my corner, put it in, and now what we'll see is that we just have one corner and one edge. Now, at this point, I want to go and place that last edge first, so I'll place it as normal, and I'll grab the other corner that goes here. And I want to turn that corner so that the piece on the bottom, which is all the sticker color on the bottom, white, is on the top. If it's not, I'll just turn it up to the top face, turn it round, and bring it back down. Still not. Turn it up to the top face, turn it round, bring it back down. Now it is. And with the white on top, I can now do three of these edge piece series. That's one. And there's three, and what will happen is that the corner will place and the edge will also remain in its position. So you can see it's already starting to look better. Now the next stage of the solve is to go and place these five lower equator corners, and they're pretty simple. They're just a matter of, for example, here's a purple, yellow, orange. Go and place it in its position. No, it's not always going to just place straight away, but we'll work out what to do then. Blue, red, pink goes down to there. If it's not right, turn it up to the top, 
bring it around, do it again. Very simple. Uh, purple green, it's got to go into this one, that's in. Red green, not right, so I can turn it up, bring it around, put it in. Is that all of them? No, yellow blue still to go, wherever that is. There it is. So this is just sitting here. So I can turn that up to the top, turn it off, and make sure that that one stays where it should be. Yep, okay. They're all in. The next stage of the solve is to place these 10 equatorial edges. Are they equatorial or are they lower? I think they're equatorial. These would be the lower equator, these would be the upper equator, so these are the equatorial edges. Yes, I like saying that word. Now, the technique, I won't show you all of them, the technique is very simple. What you want to do is uh, find an edge that goes in one of these spots up and put it up the top so that it's in the position of this pink red. Because what we're going to do is we're going to turn the position up and you'll see the pink is that there. We're then going to turn the edge down and then return it. Now the thing that you might have noticed is that it involves that corner that we've just placed. So there is a single move setup which we grab one of these upper equatorial corners and put it in its place before we start. Now we turn it like that. And then having done that we return our setup move and that edge has been placed next to the corner. Um, so that was one coming from the right. I'll show you one coming from the left if I can, so this blue pink and at the same time as doing that, if I did that at the moment in fact I will do it, you'll see that it places but it's flipped. So because I don't want that um, before I start I need to make sure that the center color of this face matches what's on the top, it doesn't. So if I need to flip that piece I'll do that and then turn it on and now that color does match. So having done that I'm now in a position to do my setup, put my piece on, undo my setup and then I just continue doing that for all the rest of the tent. And just finishing off the last one here, undo that setup. You can see that as we look around now, all these equatorial corners are done and the two edges surrounding each of them are also done. That will lead us on to our next stage, which is really simple, placing these five upper equatorial corners, or in fact four, because you guessed it, we're going to use the fifth to help us get the last face. So placing those four is pretty simple. Um, you've got a purple one here. The purple one is directly opposite. It's got to completely swap. If that happens, you can either do three edge piece series or you can just um, do something like take it out like that and that'll switch the orientation of that piece and now we've got the purple that needs to turn down like that so we do down down up up and we haven't done these edges yet so that's okay to do that we've got the yellow one here and again the yellow needs to go there so I will show you we can just do three of these edge piece series and that's done. Uh, we've got a green sitting over here and that green when we place it will take out the blue so I'm just going to rotate that green and that leaves us the red this time the red is on the right, so we'll have to turn the left face down first. And that's in. Now it also happens to have put that edge in, which I'll take. Um, that will just leave us with one corner. So I won't bother placing that yet. I'm going to use that corner to get these other edges over here. So, if we look at it from that position, there are two edges either side and two edges over on the back. So let's do one of the edges over on the back. I need to use this corner under here so as not to disturb that corner that I've already done. So I'm going to turn it one turn down, two turns down, one turn down, and to put that corner where it can be used. And now I've got to place the yellow blue edge. So I put the edge above, turn it down, 
and then I can return my corner. You can see that goes back. And all is well. That edge has been placed. This edge over here is the orange blue edge, so I'll get the corner one turn, two turns, one turn. It's underneath. Now I can place the orange blue edge in there. Put back my corner. And now I've just got to do these edges either side. And one of them was already done. So it's just this orange green one. So this time to get the corner there, it's one turn, one turn. That's it. Grab that orange green edge, put it on, and then return the corner. Looking at it now, you can see that's looking really good. So we've only got this column here and the top face to do. So the first thing that we think about is getting the edges done. And I just want to place the edges one by one. I normally like to start at the back, work my way here to end up with three left. So I've got to place the grey-blue. So I can turn that grey-blue up. This is the reason we haven't bothered doing that corner yet, is so that we can use it. That grey-blue is in position. Next I'd like to place a grey-yellow or a grey-green. The grey, Sorry, a grey-orange. Um, what have we got? Both the grey-yellow and the grey-orange are flipped. So I might just put that down in the middle part there and now I can turn the grey orange position around turn it up undo those moves that's in grey yellow is just sitting here it can cycle those three pieces that's in and that will leave us three pieces remaining and we can just cycle them home And we notice that out of the three the pink green is correctly oriented when it goes in. The pink grey correctly oriented. The grey green wrongly oriented. That means that that tells me that the position of that piece is what I've got to turn first and then turn the piece onto its position to get them to place successfully. And that has dealt with all of the edges. That now leaves us with the last corners to do and again I'm going to attempt to place the two at the back what I want is to have a grey corner down in this position. So that's grey, yellow, blue. And all I do is turn the, the top face, so that's the position, turn it around to the front, and then turn that corner up with an up, up, down, down to place it. When I've done that, I always turn it back to not lose my bearing. So that corner is now placed. Now you might think, well, hang on, what about this? Yep, that's out of place. All of that will come back at the end. So next I'd like to place this one. This is in position but twisted. So I'm going to turn that around to the front. And I want to twist it that way. So I'm going to do up, up, down, down with my right turn first. And you'll see now I can do that again. And that will place it. Okay, that's now correct. I can put that back. The grey, orange, green is correct. Next I'd like to do this one, which is twisted. So I'll turn that round. This time I want to twist it that way. So I'll turn the left face first. And turn that back. Now what I want to do is just keep doing turns until I've got all my edges and these corners back to where they should be. It doesn't matter if it's left or right first. Just keep doing it. Edges are back, corners are not, so I continue. Okay, now I've got all the corners down the bottom back as well, and the edges are back. Now at this point you'll have one of two scenarios. You'll have either these two pieces solved, the whole thing solved, or you'll have what we've got now, which is that they're in position but twisted. So if that is the case, then what you want to do is simply hold the puzzle like this and go about twisting this one then put this one in its place and twist that one. So how do we twist this one here? Well we know that if we we can do a down down up up by doing this. Now if we do that we're turning it this way so that corner will turn like that so the grey will come up correctly and twist into position. 
So we're going to do down, down, up, up. Now just watch this corner while I do the second one. Down, down, there it is. Up, up. Let's have a look. This corner was not involved in that at all. This corner has twisted. And I did a down, down, up, up, turning my left turn first. So on my left face first. So now that I've got that correctly twisted, I'm going to bring the second corner over and I'm going to twist the opposite way because this needs to twist the opposite way. So this time I turn my right face first. So just two of them. When I've done that, that's twisted. I can undo that setup move and you'll see that all the corners are now in position and correctly oriented and the whole Megaminx is solved.